Calling all amateur astronomers, there's a lot developing in the cosmos. Our chief meteorologist, Jeff Edmondson, is on your side with how you can view some of the wonders of the universe, Jeff. Yeah, a lot of things are going on here in the upcoming couple of days because of the clear skies that we have. It's the best time to take advantage of it. So what's in the night sky right now? We're looking ahead to the Orionid meteor shower. That'll be early next week. That's debris from Halley's Comet back in 1986. If you're around and you remember seeing that comet, the, co the debris from that are what create the Orionids every year. That comet will return in 2061. We're excited for that. That's still a long ways from now. Comets to watch. Comet Lemon and Interstellar 3i Atlas. Let's talk about the meteor shower. Usually the meteor shower, not the most vibrant one, but you might see a couple, five to 10 if you're in a rural area in the city. The counts are a little bit lower. That's Tuesday morning from midnight to 2 a.m. Lemon, where's Comet Lemon right now? It's closest, it's, at, it's almost at its closest point to Earth at, this, uh, at its current orbit. The orbit will not pose any threat to us here on Earth. If you want to try and capture it, I think you want to do it sooner than later because there's a little bit of talk in the astronomy community that the comet is starting to disintegrate and break apart, meaning that it may not be getting much brighter. It may be at its peak brightness right now. I'm going to try tonight. You have to look to the northwest sky with a telescope or camera, and you want to look generally in this position from the Big Dipper off to the left and down just a little bit below the constellation. 7.30 to 8 p.m. roughly for the timing. You might be able to extend it to 8.30 p.m. And then there's also that alien comet, the 3i Atlas. That's the interstellar one that's passing through our atmosphere. Perihelion, or the point closest to the sun, is on October 29th. We can't see it right now because it's hidden behind the sun, but it will reappear on the other side in the coming weeks. And if that is visible, I'll let you know, but the chances for that to brighten up a lot are pretty low, unless, of course, there's maybe alien technology involved.